Hi, this is Islin with Fia Marketing, and today we'll be talking about our seventh work from home tip, and that is setting clear expectations between manager and employee. Remember that it's a partnership. It's a two-way street. Both the manager and the employee, or the individual contributor, need to agree on the same set of expectations going forward. Now, there are two types of expectations. There's the performance expectations, which are the results and outcomes that you expect to achieve within a ser certain period of time, whether it be this month, quarter, or year. And then there's also the behavior expectations, which are the values, behaviors, and attitude required in the role. Now, the behavior outcomes are generally set at the company level, and they're disseminated throughout the teams, but you generally have an attitude and behavior that's kind of reflected company-wide. And then the performance expectations are set with your manager or your first level leader. So we just want to get clear on that and setting clear expectations is a five-step process. So first, is to know where you need expectations set. Is it about performance in the work or how you communicate with your employee or the timing of projects delivered? And why do you need to have these expectations set? The employee will go a long way if they understand the why of the expectations, not just the what. And the second thing is to make sure they're clear to you and you can write them down. And I know it when I see it is not a clear expectation. You want to have a clear expectation for what the work should look like, when it should be delivered. Um, you, you definitely want to have that clarity before going in and talking to your employee. So once you have steps one and two done, you want to meet and discuss. So make sure both sides, employee and manager, can prepare to discuss these expectations. Generally, in my experience, this is about an hour long meeting to understand what expectations need to be set on the work and the projects moving forward. And then after this meeting, you want to have clarification and understanding between both manager and employee so that everyone is, agrees. So you want to have a final set of written expectations for both employee and manager. And then that's the fourth step. And the fifth step is to get agreement and commitment. Make sure it's signed and both parties agree to it going forward in the future. So you want to make sure that you have clear expectations going forward so if anything moves off the rails or something is not being done right, or if there's behavioral expectations that are not being applied, you can have another meeting with your employee. And that's why I wanted to talk about this um, to meet with all of your individual contributors at a certain cadence during the week so that projects can stay aligned and if there's any fires, they can be put out right away. Thanks. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.